Hello and welcome to ILTV's TV's Evening Update. I'm Denise Wood here with the latest news from Israel. Israel is known for being a leader in defense manufacturing, and now one Israeli company has signed a major deal with the American defense giant Boeing. The Israeli aircraft industry is agreeing to manufacture tail frames for a new Boeing plane. The deal is already underway, and it's expected to earn hundreds of millions of dollars for the Israeli aircraft industry in the coming years. The partnership isn't a new one for the Israeli company, which has been working with Boeing for almost 40 years. The Israeli aircraft industry is a strategic supplier for Boeing, and it says the deal shows that Boeing has a lot of confidence in its technological capabilities. Israeli Police Commissioner Roni al-Sheikh says the Israeli police will be making a major effort to recruit Muslim officers. The commissioner says it's part of a deepening cooperation between the Israeli police and the Arab population, which includes adding more police stations in Arab towns. Al-Sheikh claims the northern police have always been quick to adjust to changing realities, and he thinks recruiting Muslim officers will help the police move forward. He says people should see the police as a public service, not as a threat, and that more Muslim officers will help deepen ties with the Arab population. The BDS movement is calling this week Israel Apartheid Week, and the Israeli government is fighting back. Israeli Strategic Affairs Minister Gilad Ardan says he's appointing 10 anti-BDS coordinators to Israeli embassies around the world. The boycott, divest, and sanction movement has made waves internationally, and the Israeli government is taking the threat seriously. Israel is holding a conference this week with international Jewish leaders to discuss how to fight the BDS campaign. IDF intelligence chief Herzl Halevi is warning that if Gaza's humanitarian situation doesn't improve, it could lead to a war with Israel. Halevi claims Gaza's economy has struggled to recover since Operation Protective Edge. The UN released a report last year saying that Gaza will be uninhabitable by 2020 if the economy doesn't get stronger, and Halevi agrees. He says improving the Gazan economy will help prevent further conflict. It looks like Israel is also adopting this strategy in the West Bank. Finance Minister Moshe Kahlan is working with the Palestinian Authority on a plan to boost the Palestinian economy. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.TV for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Denise Wood and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.